in salutation. CBS Mornings, I'm Nate Burleson. Coming up this hour, James Brown weighs in on the towering legacy of the great Bill Russell, a Celtic on the court and a warrior in life. I'm Jerika Duncan. Leanne Rhymes premieres our new series called Mornings Mixtape, focused on the artists we love with songs we all know. I'm Vladimir Jutip. Maya Gabera rode the biggest wave ever surfed by a woman more than 73 feet high. Now she's here to talk about it and her new book for kids. Oh, I yeah. love that surf stuff. Right. But first, here's today's eye opener at 8. Dozens of people are dead and many more are still unaccounted for after massive flooding in Kentucky. It's worse than anything that we've ever seen. Probably one of the worst disasters around here. The largest and second largest wildfires of the year in California are now burning at the same time. I'd never seen anything like it. It was just the most amazing, terrifying thing you've ever seen. New York becomes the second U.S. city to declare monkeypox a health emergency. There's not enough vaccine to go around. The patients that I'm seeing are suffering. Uh, from pain. This is something that we need to have all hands on deck. President Biden is isolating again after testing positive for COVID a second time, despite a powerful treatment. Paxlovid may not cure you, but it worked if you did not end up in the hospital. And basketball legend Bill Russell has died at the age of 88. As a player and a civil rights activist, he always stood tall. We were at the airport one time, I forget where, you know. This guy walked to me, you kind of tall. You a basketball player? I said, no. He said to me, how come you say you're not a basketball player? I said, John, that's what I do. That's not what I am. And we begin this hour with a look at the legacy of pioneering athlete and activist Bill Russell. He died yesterday at the age of 88. Russell is regarded by many as the greatest champion in the history of professional team sports. He won 11 NBA titles with the Boston Celtics, including two as a player coach. He was named the league's most valuable player five times. After he retired, Russell continued to coach, and he also broadcasted NBA games for CBS Sports. In 2011, President Obama awarded Russell with the Presidential Medal of Freedom for his work as an outspoken civil rights activist. The NFL Today host and CBS News special correspondent James Brown joins us right now. He's interviewed Bill Russell on uh, several occasions, and he knows him. JB, what's up? How you doing? Nate, good morning and good.